Hello, um, so America is really bloody huge, isn't it? And I'm finding that out as I travel around it. I'm trying to get to all uh, 50 states in the Union. So far, I've been to these states, um, to almost half, right? Um, but then when you look at the map, you come to realise that geographically, I've only visited a very tiny piece of the pie. It's not a pie, it's a country. But we kicked off the Finding America series back in 2016 when we visited West Virginia. What a great place to start that was. Just to get a glimpse of what the Appalachian region is like uh, was the stuff dreams are made of and as you can see very green. It was very green. One of the things that really stands out for me specifically as somebody whose profession takes place online um, the lack of access to the internet where I specifically was, which was in Bradshaw, West Virginia. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. In a way, it was good to become disconnected. I, I felt like an outdoorsman, a woodsman. You know, I even got the beard partially. Um, I just, I didn't have the flannel. I mean flannel shirt, not a, a washcloth. I didn't wear one of those. I didn't wear that or the shirt. Um, I also didn't have an axe. That was, that was one of my biggest regrets. I did not have an axe. So next time I'm in Appalachia, make that happen. I'm talking to my production crew, not you. Um, though if you want to send me an axe in the mail, you can do so at the following address. That's an email address, so that might not work. Don't send me any gifts. That's G-I-F-S, not gifts. You can send me gifts. Just, just don't send any more Kate and William plate sets. We've, we've got seven of those now, so. And the next episode took us to what is now my home city, Chicago. I live here, um, but I thought, you know, it would be important to cover where I lived. And I must say this city is a great hub for somebody like me who's looking to travel around the United States because on either side um, you have transit that can get you to those near estates and you also have the lovely and really well organized O'Hare International Airport and being sarcastic for purposes of comedy um, that can get me out to those states that are further afield but but Chicago itself look at it it's very tall isn't it the Sears Tower there of course now the Willis Tower after some people ruined everybody's fun um, by changing it and naming it after the actor from Die Hard and next to Chicago, of course, is this behemoth. This is the Lake of Michigan, or as it's known locally, it's Lake Michigan. And it's been noted actually by numerous experts and myself, actually uh, just myself, um, that it is the size, roughly speaking, of four northern islands. Just think about that. If we had four northern islands in one place, they may look a little bit like this. Uh, not to suggest that Northern Ireland is one mass body of water um I'm, I'm merely saying that area wise it looks it looks nothing like it actually it's fresh water of course so that means it's entirely drinkable um which is the last advice by the way that i will take from my wife and she knows why uh where are we going next? oh yes uh, indiana that's where we in fact did go next with the show back to indiana because i of course used to live there but when we lived in Indiana, it was almost hard to imagine that we'd live anywhere else. So when we did live somewhere else, Chicago, and then went back, it was like it was like going back to an old workplace and realizing that, you know, it still smelled of Chanel number no. five, but you were in a different job. Indiana will always have a large part in at least my wife's heart um, because they inserted a device into her when she went into cardiac arrest. She is constantly, to this day, under the surveillance of the fine people at IU Health. By the way, I should mention that the full versions of each of these videos are available in my channel. You can go see those in the Finding America playlist that will pop up at the very end of this video. Uh, so keep watching for that. But next we're gonna move on to Milwaukee, where we got to go. It was a freezing day, so I don't think we saw Milwaukee at its finest that day, but we did get to try some lovely Wisconsin cheese, and who says no to cheese unless it's moldy? I can guarantee that none of the cheese at the Wisconsin Cheese Mart was moldy. I know that because I asked, and they were very forthright with me. 
um, after showing me out. Wisconsin was a very charming place, actually. I rather did like the Horticultural Museum. We got to, you know, look at plants and sniff some of them. You know, not in a way that would warrant a felony or anything like that. Just, just to take in the aroma of them, which was very nice too, except for the cactus. You know, got a little close to that at one point and it pricked my nose. St. Louis, of course, with the iconic arch right there. I was tempted to go to the top of it until I chickened out. But it was relaxing. We were able to sit down on the Mississippi in a boat, not on the water. That would have been wet, 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 and brown. Very brown. Almost resembled the river that Augustus Gloop falls into in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory though I can't and won't speak to its taste. And so that's the story so far. I have, of course, in fact, been to many other states. Um, I'm 20 as we speak. I'm at 20. I'm not 20. That would make me much younger than I am. Um, but I'm at 20 states. The only thing is I began that particular journey before I began the journey of filming all of the states. So most of those weren't yet covered. But I will be backtracking to those uh, to do so. And that brings me neatly on then to my final point here, or I should say question, um, which is which state should I visit next? Um, I need to caveat that with it probably needs to be somewhere that is either within the Midwest or just in the surrounding areas. And the reason for that is this. A few months ago, we launched a campaign at patreon.com slash lost in the pond to be able to raise money to take this series across to all 50 states. So the plan is every time we reach a certain dollar amount, right, we're going to say to ourselves, well, right, this gives us enough money then to go this distance and visit these nearby states. Um, when it comes to your generosity, there's just no humor to be found in it. It's just such a profoundly wonderful thing to see that you believe so much in this show and my passion and desire to bring you documentaries from all across the United States. That means the world to me, it really does. And as I keep saying, it also potentially means the 50 states. So put your suggestions in the comments below of where we should visit next and have a bloody wonderful day, week, month, year, however you choose to measure your happiness. Go about it in that way. Goodbye. <laughs>